Hi, this is Brian Ierson from the Computer Workshop and we're back to do another little tutorial. So today we are going to talk about using a multi-level list in Word, but we're going to link that list to our styles. So to start with, you can see I have a document. I have some heading one paragraphs, heading two, heading two. And this just goes on through the document, heading one and heading two over normal text. Now if we come up here on the home tab to the paragraph group, you can see there is a drop down here for your multi-level lists, which if you click on, you can choose any of these. But if you choose to define a new multi-level list and you get into this window, this is where you are going to really begin to create a lot more functional usage. Now, first things first, if you see a button in any window at any time that says more, show, advanced, properties, options, you should always click it to see what's there. So now when I click this, it'll expand to give me this whole side set of extra controls. Now I can select any of the levels in my multi-level list between 1 and 9, of course. And what I want to do is I want to start by clicking on my level 1 here and then looking over here and I want to link this to my style heading 1. So here are all the different styles that we have, paragraph styles and nested styles or linked styles. We have all of these and you can combine the style to that level. So okay, I've got that. I can go to the level 2 and I'm going to assign that to heading 2 and then I can go to level 3 and I can assign that to linking it to heading 3 styles. Now of course you could come down and you could custom format the numbers and start to go ahead and renumber things and then you could come in here and you could look at the positioning so you can set your indent and your align and go through and set up all the fine-tuned controls but for right now we're just gonna focus on assigning those headings 1, 2, and 3 to the levels 1, 2, 3. Once this is done we can click OK and there it's pretty much all that you need to do. So now if I come down here, whoops, that jumped, so let me go ahead and fix this and make it back to a normal text here. And I'm just going to click on my first line for heading 1, and you'll notice that my headings now actually have the bulleting or the numbering. So if I click on this, and then I can click on this, it's got to take care of all the automatic numbering and I am able to go through very quickly and apply the styles with the multi-level list to my document with a seriously improved level of ease. Alright, well that concludes this little tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed this and picked up a new trick. If you enjoyed this, please feel free to subscribe. We are putting out new videos on a weekly basis, so please come back in and check out what happens next week, because we never know uh, what's going to come up next. So until then, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and take care.